It's Leif Erikson Day! Hinga dinga dergen! What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. As a bit of a newcomer to the Vikings franchise, you all actually encouraged me to watch Vikings, and oh my god, did it not get me so much more excited for Vikings Valhalla. And this is one of those shows that I think Netflix could uh, do well with if it's good. We're going to talk about whether or not it is good, and I need you guys in the comments down below. Vikings, did you like the show? You looking forward to this one? And here we go. So set over a thousand years ago in the early 11th century, around a hundred years after Vikings, this series chronicles the heroic adventures of some of the most famous Vikings who ever lived. The legendary explorer Leif Erikson, his fiery and headstrong sister Freydis, and the ambitious Nordic prince Harold. As tensions between the Vikings and the English royals reach a bloody breaking point, and as the Vikings themselves clash over their conflicting Christian and pagan beliefs, these three Vikings begin an epic journey that will take them across oceans and through battlefields. And all of this is in an effort to fight for survival and glory. A brutal, no-nonsense, I'm gonna do what it takes group of people, our three heroes at the forefront here. While it does take a couple of episodes to really get into their characters and find out who they truly are. I look at Freitas, the sister of Leif Erikson, and obviously Leif Erikson, that's kind of who we're here to see, right? And that's a Viking name, you saw the SpongeBob reference, uh, that we've probably heard before at some point in our lives. But these other Vikings, not as well known. Right, well, she provides us so much to latch on to in the opening episodes because you see a peek into her backstory and how she was physically scarred from something that happened to her and obviously hell-bent on a bit of revenge there, but at the same time, you feel for her because she does such a great job of telling you, okay, here's who I am, here's my goal, but I'm going to be honest in the way I carry myself and reveal this information. And all three lead characters, they are drastically different in their own way. I don't want to give too many any specific plot points because Netflix asked me not to, but I will just say the three leads are very compelling, but they're not the only characters in this show. We have our villains, we have those opposed to the ideologies of our main characters. Uh, we have a character like Prince Edmund who is just so young. And even though he is young, he is somewhat in charge of making certain decisions. So oftentimes his decisions will come off as very irrational and headstrong. I'm making a decision based off an emotion, not rationalization of what I'm feeling right now. And that comes from that youth. But that's something that we see the fallout of all throughout this season. But really, this season, drastically different from what we saw in Vikings. And I'm talking tonally, I'm talking story-wise, and really just the feel of the show. Now, it's not so different to where I can sit back and say, well, they've ruined everything I saw in Vikings. I don't think that's the case. See, Vikings came from one creator. He was kind of the guy all throughout the entire series. Vikings Valhalla, this is a series that is constructed much more so in the way that we see television. Multiple writers, multiple directors for the episodes, and just, uh, you can tell that's the case as you're watching the show. It's not a bad thing, and I think one thing they're staying consistent with in this Vikings series is the tone that it's going for. Very different from Vikings, but you can still feel feel that it's in that universe just set a hundred years later and they are in a time right now where things are drastically changing like I said the introduction of Christianity the old ways are dying we are introducing a new era if you will and because of that there are large groups of people who are not very fond of our Viking characters who are not very fond of our main characters so they're on a journey to right some wrongs in their past but at the same time, to rise up for the people that they want to defend. And I love that. And it causes for some epic battles all throughout the season. Two in particular. We're talking massive set pieces, grand, crazy, action-packed battles. I love the choreography. You have to compare it to other television shows, right? You can't compare it to something on a movie budget. But for what it is, and these other big historical shows that I've seen, I'm a big fan of something like The Last Kingdom. Obviously, we all love Game of Thrones until the final season. But Vikings Valhalla does hold a candle to some of those. I believe the budget is only going to get bigger from here, but just talking the brutality, and that's what I like. I'm in Vikings for Vikings doing Viking things. That's what I'm in here for, and that's what we get in this series. You're also in that, and if you've played Assassin's Creed, you're in that sort of era where you get a little bit of that sort of action of violence and just 
coolness. I don't want to go any further than that, but that's in there absolutely. You're dealing with a time period here that just, it introduces so many new possibilities that we didn't get with the first show. Someone like Bradley Freeguard was a standout in this season as the king. He's a great character who really doesn't come into his own until around the halfway point, and that's the case for multiple characters. Our three leads start out with great development with them, uh, but as we progress and get further, we're introduced to new characters and the action set pieces, they just keep ramping up, and if that's what you're looking for with this show, you get some great moments. My other big compliment this time around is handling scale. They're building a much bigger world, many more characters, a lot more things to deal with emotionally before, and it worked, right? It was smaller scale, but it kind of felt more intimate. Maybe more intimate than this show will ever be able to get. But if you can hone in on a character or two in this series and you're okay with them pushing out those old ideologies, bringing in the new, a massive shift in power, and that's what we're dealing with in Vikings Valhalla. More dealing with politics, kind of political in a way, but you're always going back to the kind of the meat of the story, and that's why I think this series, while, again, executed much differently than Vikings, it's handled very well, and there's a nice balance of so many different things at play, and that's what makes it a compelling show. Here's the best way to wrap up my thoughts. If you enjoyed Vikings, I think this show is 100% worth a watch. Again, there are some different things, especially when you look at the structure of the show, the tone of the show, but because things have changed, you're in a different era, I believe a lot of those elements are warranted. It's not handled to perfection. There's a lot at play here, a lot of storylines, a lot of characters, but at the end of the day, it keeps that brutality and the epic action that we know and love from Vikings, and it introduces some very interesting new characters. So this is a win for me at the end of the day. And before I give you my score for this season of television, I need you in the comments down below. And hey, if you like this video, you want to support this channel, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below. While there is a lot happening within this series, the core trio makes it consistently interesting. Vikings Valhalla brings more to the table than its predecessor. And while it may often feel like too much, the grand and action filled moments are handled with ease. I'm going an 82% with my score. I really enjoyed watching this. The episodes are a bit longer, but it didn't matter. I binged it with ease. I'm going to keep using that word. Uh, I need you guys down below. Like I said, appreciate you for watching. What is your favorite moment from the first series? Vikings. SpongeBob went to get more giant paper. Uh, Patrick. P.S. Happy Leaf Erickson Day. Yeah, ding, 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 ding.